What's up? Welcome from Canada. Okay, so in this lesson, we're going to go over integrating some photo content into your Ableton Live session. So sometimes you play a show and they have video screens set up and you can actually import photo and video content right into Ableton Live and go out of your, depending on what kind of laptop you're running, go out of your HDMI or your VGA or your Thunderbolt and send right out to the video line and have either your logo up on the screen or any sort of video that's synced with your uh, with your songs. So you can put up music videos, you can put up lyric videos, you can put up whatever you want. Uh, so here, let's, let's go over how to do that. So we're gonna make a new track, um, Command T. Put it right at the top just for the sake of it. So in this one, we're gonna go over some photo content. So I'm just gonna name this, let's just call it media. There we go. All right, so um, just like we dragged and dropped our audio files in here, we're gonna do the exact same thing with our photo content. So I'm gonna open this up, um, party train. Okay, desktop. Mm human tracks, pick slash vid. Okay, so for this song, we're going to start the intro off with uh, a logo. So here, I'm just gonna click and drag this right in here. And let's zoom in. Okay, so there's our, there's our video window. So if you wanna view this, you just go to your video, go to your view up here and video window. So that just closes, opens and closes that. So we'll just put it in the corner just to make sure it's all synced up and working properly. We'll just put that up there. We're gonna zoom in the tiny file. So there it is, there it is. Um, let's just put it right at the very beginning of the song. Um, I'm doing this the long way. guys are sitting here watching me just struggle and you're like come on mark just you can do it i believe in you <laughs> okay so here's a situation where we want to keep our warp on because we we might want to loop this so if we turn off warp then we can't really do anything with it i think we can duplicate it yeah so we can do that actually let's check that out so here let's hit stop real quick yeah, so we can duplicate it like that if we want to. Um, but if we leave the warp on, we can actually just click and drag and it'll automatically just loop it for as long as we want. So this song has a music video for it. So we're not gonna have this logo up for long, but what we're gonna do is for the count in. So say the last song ends, boom. And at the very end of the last song, we put up the manifest logo, looks cool. And then I trigger this song and the manifest logo stays up um for the count in and then as soon as the first beat of the song starts we're going to start some video content here so anyways not to get ahead of ourselves let's go back to the very beginning of the song so okay singer gives a spiel about the song okay the song's called human space bar and what we see right here is going to be up on the big screen and then as soon as this downbeat kicks in we're going to have some other content so let's go grab our video we're gonna grab this, we're gonna drop it in. Uh, we don't want this to be warped because this we want to be along perfectly with the the backing tracks. So here, let's close this screen for a sec because it's in my way. Um, technically this song has audio along with it, so we wanna turn the audio off. So we wanna deactivate it. So the video is still gonna play. Um, yeah, so let's just zoom in. It actually looks like um, the ba the the video is just a little delayed, probably because there's a little clip or a little delay on the video, which there is. You can see when I hit play, it doesn't kick in right away. So, which might not be a problem, but let's just trim it up. Let's pull this right in here and just take a watch and make sure it lines up the way we want it to. So I'm gonna go hit one again, our quick key. One, two, three, four. So video starts, here we go. We won't really be able to tell if it's in sync until we see his lips start moving, but we just wanna make sure this lines up with the way it is on the tracks.
Rad. Okay, so there. So essentially, we can put this right up on the big screen, and we can have sick looking. Whether it's a music video, a lyric video, could just be some background effects. You know, maybe you got a song about being by the ocean, so you got, you know, some cool clips of the ocean. Could be anything. Um, there you go. So the only last thing we got to do is we got to click, we got to drag this. Depending on our system preferences, normally how it's set up is when you plug in to the the video output of your of your laptop. Um, it's going to mirror a screen off to the side here. So in a situation like that, you'd want to click and drag this all the way to the far right. And then once it's over there, you want to double click it. So it goes full screen and then Bob's your uncle and it's amazing. And you're officially a rock star. Yeah. Yeah. All right. There you go, guys. Syncing photo and video with your backing tracks. Peace.